New tonight at 6, it has been just over a year now since a Buffalo man's dream trip to Ireland turned into a nightmare. Stephen Termini traveled to Dublin to discover his roots, but those plans were turned upside down when he was viciously attacked. Now, a year later, we have learned those sent to help him may have ended up causing more pain. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing has the story in this Two on Your Side original. A musician at night, a still worker by day. Stephen Termini, a 57-year-old American guy living in Buffalo, planning to get citizenship in Ireland. His last attempt to do so failed. He was assaulted. I walked past these kids that I didn't see them in the shadows, and they saw the American flag on the back of my jacket. I don't know if that had any to do with anything. I never said anything to them. It started slamming me, punched me in the face, and fractured my face and kicked me in the head so many times I, you know, got the hematoma in my brain and just wouldn't stop. You were pretty much left for dead. Yeah. It was yeah. 2023. Tell me, how are you doing now? The best I can, you know. I've uh, had some surgeries. I had a seizure. I've had titanium put in my back. I could barely walk. I'm just struggling, you know, day by day. Day. Two young men who consider terminating like a father started a GoFundMe to help them travel to Ireland to assist him. They raised about $130,000 with many donations from people in Ireland. This is what Michael and Jesse Rizzuto told Channel 2 last year. It's a feeling you can't even put into words. You know, when, when the whole country rallies behind you and says, you know, here's our support, here's anything you need. And over a year later, Termini tells us. They came and saw me in the hospital. Not very long, you know, maybe five minutes at the time that I could remember to count and never saw or heard from again. So what about the money? Thousands of dollars. You cared more about taking advantage of the money that they wanted to give to help me and didn't return any of my phone calls, see how I was doing. He never got money to fly home from Ireland. They never communicated anymore and I had to file a lawsuit. Here is what was filed in the clerk's office. Termini alleges fraud because he never received anything from the GoFundMe. He went to court in July. 60 days, we'll let you know what's gonna happen then. And what so, do you want? I don't know how many more times I could be knocked down and get up. I'm hoping that they will say yes, that money was supposed to go to your father. Termini says he has no family, he's alone, and as for the teens in Ireland who attacked him and have been charged. I forgive those kids for what they did to me. But the court in Ireland isn't so forgiving. As Termini learned, at least two have been convicted. On your side in Buffalo, Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.